Whether it's pasta so good you eat it with your hands or a tray of fresh pastries screaming your name, most people find it hard to resist food. But there are some who are too good at it. Sports journalist Karen Perlman is healthy now, but as a teenager, she was anorexic. I remember eating a lot of gum and not really caring about what I ate, just the least amount possible. Psychiatrist Walter Kay wanted to know whether people with anorexia experience food differently. He described his study of recovered anorexics like Perlman in the journal Neuropsychopharmacology. He and colleagues used MRI scanners to study brain activity in response to tasting sugar water. They found that former anorexics had less activity in the brain area that recognizes taste compared to women who had never had eating disorders. Food may not be uh, as rewarding as it is to people without an eating disorder, and this may very well explain why it's, it's, they're able to, to not eat and lose so much weight. Perlman hopes the findings increase people's compassion towards those with anorexia. I think it's a very misunderstood and, uh, of course, debilitating illness. And Kay believes that understanding the physical basis of anorexia will lead to more effective treatments and success stories. I'm Sunita Reed.